Hello and welcome to Live in the Living Room and You Country here at the O2 in London. This is Kirsty Krause, ladies and gentlemen. What's up? And we are here at Country to Country, C2C 2024. Hello, Kirsty. How are you doing? Hello. Hello. I'm just happy that I made it here. Is I it? took like about, you know, two planes and four different train well two own. different trains and the, yes and the jubilee and there were some nice people that helped me carry all my bags i brought this flight case and the whole thing so it, we was were, a, it was a whole thing so off camera we were talking about you didn't have good sense of direction but it sounds like you do i asked i definitely asked a <laughs> lot of questions i was like are you going to this place cool i'm gonna follow you Sounds I, I might I might go out and ask how, how to use a tripod later on as well. <laughs> um, so we are in the Artist Lounge at the O2. Yes. So there's a few questions we got for you. So the first one is, what makes you country? What makes me country? My storytelling in the songs. I think that is the backbone of what makes country music, especially since lately I recently I went to a concert and I noticed that there wasn't as much storytelling or artists that big artists that are crossing over and releasing songs not as much storytelling and i was like oh, okay again the backbone of country music is storytelling and i feel like that's that's what drew me into this genre with leanne rhymes at a very and shania twang at, at a young age and i i've stuck around for that well we are, we are glad you're here <laughs> um so you you've played ctc before Yes. So, and you're back again this year. This time you're double dipping a little bit as well. So, you're, you're, so what's happening? What's what's happening for you? Definitely triple dipping, right? Because we're sitting here. I'm with live yeah, in the yeah, living yeah, yeah. room, which is so cool. And I'm sitting here as an artist and also a host. And then I'm doing some hosting stuff with Country Line. So that's been fun already today, like running back and forth. And then I get to perform again. Uh, Thomas is Thomas Cavanaugh, my duet partner for our love song, Who Am I Gonna Love? That was released last March. We are going to be performing that today. And I get to join him in all three days for his sets at the Observatory oh, nice. Pub. Gonna try and catch a little bit of that if we can if we can Yay. film a bit. We'll, we'll, we'll oh, that'd try be that. so cool! Because so, we did that where we sent yes. it in to you guys yeah. and and you featured it last year where we you know did a live version of the song. So that's really awesome. Well, I need to get you on a proper interview on on New Country as well because it's more fun than live in the living room. We oh. won't tell you I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking, of course, James. Um, so. Well, who are you listening to at the moment? In the words of, uh, of Chris Stapleton, who are you listening to? And who would you recommend it. that we listen to? Oh, love these questions. I Right now, I am like, country's cool again. So, yep, that that's like one of my go-to songs. Hannah Dasher, Crying All the Way to the Bank. Uh, Drake Milligan, and he's here he's this here, year. Yeah. So, uh, I super excited. Him, but he hasn't come back to me yet. Oh, I've definitely <laughs> seen him... Uh, Brighton at Seagill. I've seen him popping in around uh, like BMG. So it's I'm gonna. It's good to catch him live at the festival this yep. year. Yeah. So we're, we're definitely gonna try and do that. Lots of buzz around. The, like Nashville is super talking yes. about Drake right now. They are the new Elvis, pretty much. Yeah. Or one of the new Elvises. There's about three of them now, but I'm getting He's I'm getting the, lost. The yeah. big new one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He, he is really really good. So we've got one question left for you, really. Okay. And that is. What question do you wish I'd asked? Hmm. Okay. I wish you'd ask me if I am a tea or a coffee person. Then we're going to ask that question. <laughs> tea or coffee person? I, if, in the scale of things, I would have used to say coffee, but now I'm a tea person. I Hot weaned tea. myself off coffee. No caffeine. Right here, this energy is no caffeine. <laughs> this is just natural. <laughs> I noticed at yeah. some point coffee was not hitting the same and it wasn't giving me like a good high but i was still getting the lows from it yeah. so i was like you have well, to have this doesn't work amount. yeah you yeah. have to have double the amount to get the same high. but i was already yeah. pushing almost two cups so oh, really? i was like i don't want to be like a fiend for this stuff <laughs> so i i was like i'm just gonna weed off of it and let me tell that's hard it's hard so, have do you, you ever done it yeah, I mean, the headaches, the I everything. was more of a tea person anyway, because growing up here, uh, my mother was always tea, 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 yeah. tea, tea. Um, but I've started doing coffee because coffee is good for me, uh, apparently. <laughs> um, so I kind of try and balance out as, yeah. much, as much as I can. But the question is, do you have milk in your tea? Today I did because I am in, when in England. But uh, yeah. <laughs> so the all important question then, there's got two questions. Okay. Right. How do you make your tea? 
Okay. Because Americans, we tend to get a bad rap for like putting it in the microwave. We don't do that, do we? No. Yeah, I have a tea. See? I got a teapot that you just push down the lever. So what, you put the water in it and then it heats up. So like a tea's heats made. Up. Yeah. yeah. And I have one of those. And that's how I make my uh, mushroom coffee in the oh, morning. And then that's coffee. how I make my ginger tea. Mushroom so, coffee? Yes. Never even heard of There's that. There's five different, mush- different mushrooms and it helps you like focus. So like and all like a things. detox type thing. Yeah. And, yeah. Okay. And the last question on that then. Most important question of all for a tea drinker. Okay. Milk first or second? Uh, milk first. C. Uh, okay. Thank you, Lorenz right. I'm sorry about that. Just like the complete randomness of this conversation. No, I love that. And I'm so happy to be here. So happy to be at C2C here at the O2 again. I'm just really grateful. So thank you. So last thing, tell them where they can find you. You can find new music like the one that just released last Friday, Beaches Be Crazy, which is so fun. And obviously my country sound, but very beach sounding. And uh, the new song that's coming out on March 29th is a duet. And you can check everything out on KirstyKraus.com. There we go. One more time. Kirsty Kraus, thank you very much. New country and live in the room here at C2C yes. at the O2. 2024. And I'm just keep saying stuff because James is itching to press that button.